Before the war, Abu Ali was an interior designer. Now he spends his days walking through the pummeled neighbourhoods in this rebel-held city of Douma, searching for material for his next art project, digging up bullets and artillery shells. My most used items are Kalashnikov bullets from Russian weapons and other 14 and a half caliber bullets. I believe that's what they are. I'm not an expert in weapons. We only learned these names once the revolution started. Abu Ali's first project was this candle holder. It was meant to act as a sign of peace after the war claimed his daughter's life. Now he spends his days turning scraps of metal into toys of hope for the children and teaching them a new craft. Abu Ali has also etched the signs of war into the Arabian Oud, an instrument that's often associated with tunes of peace. <laughs> It's really a catastrophe here and I make this art to draw the international community's attention to the suffering my people are facing, whether it be death, destruction, hunger or siege. 50,000 people in Douma have been under siege since 2013 and the city has been the site of many Russian and Syrian air attacks on markets, schools and hospitals. Abu Ali's art also reflects this. This clock shows 12 of the cities that are being besieged in eastern Ghouta. When we get reports that there is bombing, we move this dial to the area that is being bombed. And in a country where calls for peace have so far gone unheard, Abu Ali is hoping his artwork will speak volumes. Denise Savoya, TRT World.